Hi guys, my name is Megan. Welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would give you a little tour of my canned goods storage. I'm constantly getting questions about what is on this wall behind me in my videos. So I thought I would show you what all these things are and all the things I can this year. A lot of my canned goods storage is upstairs, so I'll take you up there and show you the shelf that my husband built for all of my jars and just give you the whole tour of our food storage that I've preserved myself. So let's get right into this. So first up on this side, just what I keep on my countertop, I have my Ninja Blender, KitchenAid, my essential oil diffuser, which I'm running almost all the time. I normally have a bunch of stacks of soap here that are just drying and ready to go into storage upstairs. So right now I have three kinds, lemon poppy seed, peppermint, and lavender. And I need to make bentonite clay and pumpkin spice soon, so those will be joining that stack very soon. And then over here I have my instant pot because I'm constantly using it so it just lives out on my counter. So then over here I have some just grain storage. I like to mill some of my own grain. I have some quinoa in the back, some rice. This is amaranth that I've used for some baking. I have oat flour, just a little kind of random assortments of grains and flours. I have a Nutramil so I can grind grain myself, which is kind of fun to be able to play around with that. I have my pregnancy tea that I try to take every single day. And then right here I have a bunch of dried fruits that I've dehydrated this year. So I have apples, two jars of apples, two jars of bananas, and then two and a partial jar of pear slices. And so those are just really nice to have as a snack. Which is really easy, nice to take in the car. And I normally do have some essential oils up here too because my diffuser is right down here. And so there's normally a bunch of essential oils on the shelf as well. And then over here, I just have this olive oil that I use a lot. I've been using it in my daughter's rum up formula, so it's just kind of out where I can get to it easily. I use this for when she has ear infections and I make my garlic oil medicine to put in her ear and that gets rid of it really fast. So I just kind of use this a lot, so it's just out on my shelf. And then I have a ginormous French press. I love this thing so much. I, as you guys know, if you've watched my channel very long, I love coffee. And so I'm, I'm, I love this big French press and it's insulated so it keeps the coffee nice and warm. It's really nice. And then I just have a cherry bowl for fruits and vegetables that I want out on the counter. Normally I have some bananas and tomatoes and different things. And then over here I just have some old crocks for storing different foods. I think I have uh, brown sugar in this one and coffee in this one. And this one's empty. I was thinking about using it to make a candle with, but I'm not sure. So it's just out right now because it looks pretty and I don't know what to do with it again. And then over here I have this really cool honey jar that my friend Liz made for me. She makes some amazing pottery. This is just our phone charger. I have a couple different squashes right there that just need to get eaten up and our Wi-Fi router. <laughs> I don't like having all these cords here because I don't like how it looks but I try to hide it behind my Instant Pot and hope that it's fine. <laughs> and then right up here I have all my jars of canned peaches that I've made this year. I got all the peaches from Azure. I just have some jars of dried beans here and that's that section up there is where I keep all my empty glass jars like gallon and half gallon jars because I use those so much. I use them for storing my raw milk, for making kefir, for making sauerkraut. So I'm constantly using those big huge glass jars and that's just where I keep them when they're clean. Here's all my cookbooks. I don't have a huge assortment but these are just kind of my few absolute favorites. This is my binder with all the recipes that I've made up myself or gotten off the internet or stuff like that. There's more dried beans. This is kind of a breakfast corn cereal type thing that we don't really eat all that much, but I need to eat through this jar. This is another empty jar that actually needs to go up here. And then this right here is my jar of elderberries. I love making our own elderberry syrup. It's just great for keeping sickness away and if you do get something, it gets rid of it so much faster. So I'm constantly making elderberry syrup and trying to make sure that we're taking a teaspoon of it a day. It's helped so much. We did not get sick at all this last cold and flu season and I'm, I'm convinced it's because of the elderberry syrup. I have a big jar of cinnamon sticks. I use that in my elderberry syrup mostly. And then right here I have canned raspberries. We love having these over like yogurt or ice cream or something. They're just really easy to can and really delicious. Some raw local honey that it's almost gone. I need to 
that up and get some more. Here is a row of apple butter that we're still using up from two years ago, I think. I have my last jar of apple pie filling. This is just so nice to have. I love just pouring that into a baking dish and making like a crumble to put on top. I don't even really use it for making pie just because I'm too lazy to make a pie crust, <laughs> but it's really nice for making apple crisps or even just simple stuff like that. And then I have all the pears that I can this year just in a light syrup and those are really delicious over yogurt or whatever. And then up there I have nectarines and grapes. And then this last thing up here is just some canned beets. And they're kind of a sweet and sour type sauce. They're really, really good. So that's all for my canned goods that I'm storing downstairs. So now I'm gonna take you to our upstairs and show you all the stuff I have up there as well. So here's the really cool canning shelf my husband built for me upstairs. And now I'll just run through all these jars of things I have on here and show you what they are. So on this top shelf, I have all my jars of applesauce. These are just all the narrow mouth jars. And then over here are all the wide mouth jars. Not that it really matters to separate them, but they're all pint jars. And these are just really nice to have for a snack for my one-year-old. They are not sweetened with sugar, so I feel totally comfortable giving them to her. We use them to sweeten our pancakes instead of syrups. And we've actually used up a lot of the stuff I can this year. So then this whole shelf right here, this is all my bone broth that I've canned this year. As you guys probably know, we got a quarter of a cow and I just cooked down all the bones at once in my instant pot and then I canned all of it. So we have a nice big bone broth storage which is going to be really nice because my husband's actually going to be doing the GAPS diet soon and you eat a lot of bone broth when you do that. So we're going to be going through this really, really quick. Then over here I have a few quarts, I think there's six, five or six quarts of chili and so that's going to be a just really nice quick meal for when the baby's born. All we need to do is open up a jar of these beans down here, put it with the chili, you can put some noodles or rice with it even if you wanted and it's just going to be a really simple quick meal. And all these jars down on the, on the floor on the bottom shelf are pints of kidney beans and those are just really nice and delicious and easy to use. I am like the worst at remembering to get beans out and soak them, so I'm so glad I canned so many kidney, kidney beans this year. And then down there, chicken canned in chunks and salted, and it's just really easy to pull out and have over a salad or in taco soup or something like that. It's nice to have it just ready to go like that. And so that is all my canned goods storage that I have upstairs and downstairs. That doesn't count all the food that we get from like Costco and different places, but hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing this. I've had quite a few requests to do a video like this. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Bye.